We have tricks for your treats. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Happy Halloween, Luigi. Happy Halloween, shorter Luigi. Okay, guys, Monday's a big day for us. We're gonna up your dosage of daily good mythical morning. That's right, for every one video that you were used to getting, now you're gonna get four every day, what? assembled together and experienced as an episode. Starting on Monday, so subscribe if you're not already subscribed. We're gonna take the rest of the week off to just chill. No, we're gonna get ready. Yeah. So you get ready too for Monday. Lots more GMM every single day. Yes. Now, Halloween is not only an awesome time because you get to see what skin tight costume your neighbor Ralph's wife was squeezing into. Was squeezing year. into? <laughs> or is that just me and my neighbor Ralph? <laughs> Just you also you. get a lot of candy. Uh, that's right. You almost get too much candy. So you can either eat it all at once and go into a sugar coma, or you can try to ration it out to last all the way through Easter. But today we're going to present a third option, a third way to have a lot of fun with your Halloween candy. It's called Halloween Candy Hacks. Halloween Candy Edition. Since Halloween falls on a Tuesday, that means everybody's got to go back to school or work tomorrow. Mm. But we got you covered with something you can actually break out at lunch. We call it the peanut butter cup and jelly bean sandwich. AKA the PB and J and K and K. Mm, letters. All right, so I got my handy dandy jack-o'-lantern bag here and I'm gonna start with some jelly beans. Some full-size Kit Kats. Dang, how'd you get a full-size Kit Kat? The rich person's house, man. Yeah. You know, the rich person's always got the full size. And then some Reese Cups, uh, one of my favorites. The first thing you can do, take the Reese Cups, put them in your back pockets to warm them up. Or just okay. sit on them. Uh, second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take out your good mythical tote and grab your pipe because rats. Mm, then what? I'm gonna deconstruct these jelly beans, okay? Okay. Oh, okay, we get the idea. So basically I have what some I'm, done over here. Yeah, so, so not a complete flattening, just a deconstruction. Mm -hmm. You wanna break the shell a little bit. You can also smush them between your fingers. Then you're going to take your full-size uh, uh, Kit Kat. Link, I think you've got a couple okay. of pre-prepped over there. I've got those in a tray here. I always thought that Kit Kats looked like bread. Hmm. Well, it's your lucky day, <laughs> friend. Finally they are. Now you're gonna take those Reese's you've been sitting on. Hopefully they've melted nicely. As you can see, they've gotten pretty mushy. What you're gonna do, Link, we've got some pre-prepared over there. You just right. take all these really squishy ones and begin to mix it together with a knife or with your pipe, and it will make this amazing Reese's Cup chocolate and peanut butter mixture that then you are going to oh spread my. directly onto the Kit Kat. Oh yeah, <laughs> spread it. Woo! See, this is getting good, y'all. And then you're gonna take your deconstructed jelly beans and put it place at will. Okay, you can do just like that. Oh, and yeah. then yeah, look at that. you're going to finish the sandwich. Be ginger. Take off your mustache. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. And go to Happy Town. <laughs> Which end is Happy Town? Mm -hmm. Okay. Chose the good end. Ooh. Mmm, you get the peanut butter, hits you, you get the chewiness of the jelly beans, and you get the crunch of a Kit Kat. And you get the adoration of all your coworkers and schoolmates. Okay, if you love candy corn and you're weird, you're gonna love it even more in a second, but if you don't love candy corn and you're normal, you're gonna start to love it thanks to this cream corn recipe. Of course, I've got the candy corn, mm. the star of the recipe, and I've got some Cadbury cream eggs. Um, they're actually selling Cadbury Scream eggs now if you're lucky enough to get those. Um, but these will suffice for us. So let's get this party started. Rhett, you've got some uh, Cadbury Scream eggs already open. And what I want you to do is just crack crack the yolk into the ramekin. How's that gonna work? It's, it's kind of fun to try to get the, the yolk out of there. Oh gosh. Sometimes it requires a little raking into um, some sort of container. You gotta really separate the chocolate shell. Yeah, the more you touch it, the better it tastes. Um, you know what, let's just skip ahead. We've already, we got a ramekin here um, with what is- I'll just eat that. 45 Cadbury Scream eggs worth of yolk here. So uh, yeah. if there's a time investment involved. Go ahead it's and- It's worth it. Open this candy corn because what we wanna do is we want to dice the candy corn uh, and mix it into there. Now, 
I went to my friendly neighbor Ralph's house and uh, he always gives me an apple, which usually is lame uh, until you bite into it and you see, oh, there's a razor in there. Oh, thanks, Ralph. How convenient. He usually buries it deeper, so you, you have to bite it to know it's there. Right. But this year, it's awful. He kept it right on the outside. What is Susan dressed as this uh, year? She was Catwoman last year. Power Ranger. Oh, her, her really? Her face is obstructed in mystery, but that doesn't matter. How do you know it was her? Mm, I can tell by the close-fitting Power Ranger <laughs> suit. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so then you just want to... You want to sit here and very safely, children, use this razor to cut the candy corn. You want to dice that up. You don't have to go too crazy with it. And eventually it. you'll end up with this mixture here, which is basically half halfsies of cream corn or so, so candy then, corn. Then you take the candy corn and um, I'm just going to, I'm going to sprinkle it into the, to the yolks there. Mmm, yum. Uh, you want to get a good ratio and... Um, also, if you're lucky, you went by the crazy rich person's house. You got yourself some salt and pepper. Oh yeah. Which you done here? You hit it with the salt, and I'll hit it with the pepper. That's so odd. Beep 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 beep. I like a lot of pepper in my okay, in too my much. cream corn. A little mixy swirl. Yeah, mix that up, and um, totally change the way uh, you think about candy corn. So you got a you got a spoon. Get a hearty spoonful. Dink it. Whoop. Mmm, sweet, <laughs> salty, but savory, peppery. I mean, I can taste the razor. Dude, this is excellent. I actually like the pepper mm. and the way that it offsets the sweetness. Yeah. Yeah. This is a hit. The worst part about Halloween is that it's so fun that when it's over, you're just depressed. Well, with this next hack, we can keep the fun going. Invite all your friends over for Swedish fish and chips. Mm. Okay, mm. so you're gonna take, again, you really scored. You really scored. You got a bag of Swedish chips. Uh-huh, fish. The, Swedish fish. Fe fetus, fetus. <laughs> fetus chips. I love fetus chips. There's no, there's so no tasty. fetuses, no fetuses were used in the making of these. They're Swedish fish. The Jenkins gave us a full ro root beer like they do every year. And the Parkers, they just cut right to the chase. And they just hand, that is they sugar. just hand out bags of straight sugar. sugar you okay. know? Uh, Chips Ahoy, Big Hershey's, one. Cookies and Cream, and the Dinklages, they're weird. They gave you straight eggs. <laughs> well, we need all of that, right? Okay, so first thing you're gonna, gonna do is you're gonna take your Chips Ahoy, your egg, and your sugar, and we're not gonna waste your time on this one. What you're gonna do is you're gonna mix all those together and you're gonna get what we're calling the dredge. Wa-bam! That is a mixture that we're going to uh, dip our sweetest fish, not our sweetest fetuses, <laughs> into. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, sorry, and the root beer is a part of that too. That makes the root beer better. Yeah. So, Link, we're both gonna do these, and this is, hey, it's about to get dangerous, okay? Get yourself some f uh, flour. You can and get the flour Get yourself at home. a fryer from your house. So take two of these fish, Link, and what yeah. we're gonna do is you're gonna take this dredge and you're gonna create a sandwich situation with these two f Swedish fish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Try to keep one did a good one. hand dry. Oh, then you're going to late. dip into the flour and then you're gonna come back over to the dredge. You really wanna make sure that none of the Swedish fish is exposed because it will disintegrate very quickly inside of right. the oil. Oh gosh. It'll, is, oh, I buried mine somewhere down deep. Oh gosh. Oh, these fishies are swimming. <laughs> uh, and then you wanna come back again. I'm doing a lot of awkward reaching across you. Not awkward at all. It's actually not reaching either. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> And then, <laughs> we're gonna take that and dip it one more time. Oh my goodness. Making sure that I've got full coverage. Oh gosh, it's so sticky. It's, it's gross. It's All right, and is that hot? Oh yeah, it's hot. Okay, wait, wait for me to catch up. I gotta put all this over top of this. All right, here we go. I think it's in there. I've just grabbed a big oh, handful. That's too much, man. Thin it out a little bit. Thin it out. Okay, and then. Okay. I'm gonna try, then I'm gonna just set it in there, nice and easy like that. You don't need much more than about 15 to 20 seconds right, or I'm so. I'm also gonna make a Chips Ahoy dollop. We gotta keep it, keep it moving, wanna keep it separated from the bottom. Oh my goodness. Okay. My hand dirty, I'm I don't like five, to cook. Four, 
Oh, they're getting real nice. Is it? It's like oh, a yeah. it's like a trick or treat hush puppy. Okay, so no more than thirty seconds. We'll put it right nice over here, and crispy. Ooh, and then yeah. you grab your tong, to tong, tong, tong. Let it drain. Let it drain a little bit. Ooh, put it on this plate over here, brother. That's man. your weird alien one. <laughs> oh wow! And here's my perfect one. Okay, look at this, Neil. Oh, it's. It now smells, it smells strong. You were wondering what we were going to do with this Hershey's cookies and cream bar. Well, break it out, Link. We have melted it down and created a dipping sauce. Oh yeah. Now let's see how. Listen, mine look turned out really well. <laughs> oh, no, 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 son. Okay, so, ooh, that's kind of hot. All right, let's dip these suckers. Mm-hmm, put that right in there. Oh, nice and warm. Now like make sure it's cooled before you, you bite this thing. It's like a hush puppy. It is like a hush puppy. Oh, look at that. Pull that part off. You hush puppy and eat it. Oh, my. Oh, man. Wow. That is incredible. Look at that. It's crunchy on the outside. Look it's, at the fish on the inside. It's chewy on the inside. It's like a fruit-filled fried treat. <laughs> it's a fruit-filled fruit, fruit, fried that's, treat. That's the subtitle. That's the subtitle, though. We got yeah. have... Swedish fish and chips, a fruit-filled fried treat. <laughs> mm. I'm double dipping. Oh, mm-hmm. That is incredible. Oh. We may have peaked. That's kind of... Culinarily. <laughs> All right, I happy Halloween, people. everybody. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. I'm Sans. And I'm Sans, too. And we're at Sapoten, Arizona. And it's time to spin the, the wheel, wheel of mythicality. We'll see you again on Monday. In the meantime, after you get off your sweaty and stinky costume that you trick or treat in tonight, you can slip into the comfort of a I Want My GMM t-shirt available at mythical.store. And slip into Good Mythical More by just clicking, click, clicking. You can see us make the ultimate chewy candy taco. Don't Google that. Whatever you do, don't Google Rooster Eye. Oh. <laughs> really? Oh, come on. You're doing it. Well, well it didn't seem that bad. Uh, no. Mm. Mm. Uh, but don't. Thanks for clicking subscribe. Click on the left to watch the show after the show, Good Mythical More. Click on the right to watch another episode of Good Mythical Morning. And be sure to check out our other channel, This Is Mythical, by clicking the video on the bottom. Thanks for being your mythical best.